So Leo, in this message, we were seeing how your person was hot and cold, back and forth, in and out. And this is starting to really weigh on you. You will have a decision to make coming up in this month. We're going to dive into this message, hopefully to help you to make this decision. Let's see. Hello, everyone, and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today, we're looking into Leo's inside of their mind reading for the month of February. And in this message, Leo, we're first going to tap into the energy surrounding you, the energy surrounding your person, and we're going to see what's challenging this between the two of you. Then we're going to dive a little bit deeper into your person's energy. And in this portion of the message, Leo, we're going to look into their perception of you in the present energy their perception of the challenge, what they're not telling you in the present energy, what their true intentions are moving forward, and advice, guidance from spirit. I'll clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few oracle cards at the end. If that's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So Leo, let's see what we can see for your upcoming energy for the month of February, please. And thank you. Most important message here for Leo spirit. What does Leo need to see also guys if you like the vibe how i interpret the cards you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel everyone's welcome and it does help to set intentions for future messages so let's see leo what we can see for your upcoming energy for the month of february Leo, in the present energy, there is a definite energy of holding back. I feel like this is your person's energy, okay? I feel like your person is, is holding back from moving forward in this connection, okay? Your energy is coming out as the King of Swords, Seven of Cups. I feel like you're trying to make a decision. Okay, you're trying to look at the situation, look at things from a level head, okay? And I feel here you're trying to make an appropriate decision. And it's causing a lot of confusion. Your person over here that's being channeled, Leo, feels like they're competing for your time and attention. There's no other way that you can take the Five of Wands with the Six of Pentacles, okay? So let's clarify this King of Swords, Seven of Cups energy. Now, of course, the roles can always be reversed, but this is how the cards are coming out. So this is how we will read them. Leo, this is your energy, King of Swords, Seven of Cups in the reverse. There's confusion. The Seven of Cups is confusion, but to me, I feel like this is a lot of options that are surrounding you and having a hard time deciding, okay? Having a hard time deciding which option is best. Maybe both. Maybe all options that you have presented to you are comparable, okay? They all have positive attributes. They all have negative attributes. The Five of Wands, the Six of Pentacles for Leo's person's energy. Now, the person that's being channeled here, they sense, Leo, that you have multiple people that you're splitting your time and attention with. And that is why this person is holding back from coming forward. Now, the challenge here, Leo, is you feel a distance between you and this person. That's what we can see. But I feel like either your guard is up, this person's guard is up. Somebody has their guard up when it comes to this connection, and it's because of this competitive energy. Okay? You're going to have a decision to make here, Leo, from what we can see. Now, the energy that's being channeled, okay, you can be dealing with a fire sign. We also have air energy and cups, so water. Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? 
Let's dive a little bit deeper into your person's energy here, Leo, and see what their perception of you in the present energy is. Now, if you find the messages helpful or resonating with your situation, thumbs up is always appreciated and does help with the growth of the channel. Let's look at this person's perception in the present energy, Leo. Please and thank you. Leo's person's perception of Leo in this present energy. Leo, this person views you as holding back, as not making a decision. I feel like this not making a decision is really hindering the growth of any connection that you have. It's going to be hard to decide when there's multiple people that you may be talking to that in your mind are comparable. What I feel here though, Leo, is instead of looking at like the practical things, you know, like how much money they make and things like that. You need to focus on how you feel, how this person makes you feel. Okay. And the reason why I say that is because your feelings, your emotions are deeply tied to your intuition. If a person is making you feel scattered, if they're making you feel confused, or you feel like you have to walk on eggshells because you don't want to disrupt this person. These are all signs of energy, energetic resistance. Those are usually signs, the confusion, the uncertainty. Those are usually soft no's. And that's how I would take it. Okay. So you're coming to terms with a lot of things here. Okay. And I feel here, Leo, that in the present energy, you may have multiple people to choose from multiple people trying to get your time, attention, and energy and don't know which to choose. Maybe even kind of leaving the, leaving it up in the air, like whoever falls off, falls off. But instead of doing that, wouldn't it be better to make a decision, make your own decision on who, which partner was in better alignment with where you seen yourself headed, right? So what is this person's perception of the challenge here with Leo? <laughs> Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Leo, this person is getting ready to walk away. They definitely sense that there's, you have friends, maybe even friends with benefits. It's almost as if you're going to have to put your foot down. You're going to have to make the decision. What I sense here, Leo, is this person is probably back and forth all the time. Okay, that's how you can probably tell that this is the person being channeled. This person probably comes in and wants to be all lovey-dovey, cuddle up, make you feel good, make you feel uplifted. And that's all positive energy, right? But then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, there's a disruption. You guys start fighting and arguing over whatever the case. And maybe in your mind, Leo, this was the person who you were going to be choosing. But because they're so scattered, they're so back and forth, it's hard to want to commit. What I feel here, Leo, is if in the last week so, this person has stepped away, started an argument, created distance again, stand your ground. Don't continue to let this person come back around, okay? Now, I'm not saying people don't make mistakes. By all means, people make mistakes. We're human. But at some point, when a person keeps continuing the same action or reaction over and over again, it's a behavior pattern. And that behavior pattern is something that you're either going to have to accept or not accept moving forward. And I honestly feel here that this behavior pattern, Leo, of this person coming in and then leaving 
it's causing more harm than good. And I know it may be hard. Maybe you don't want to stand your ground with this person. Maybe this person is a catch, you know, maybe they have a lot of good attributes that are going for them. But you have to understand this person completely in their entirety, the positive attributes as well as the negative. And if the negative attributes of this person outweigh the positive, then you have to take a step back because this is going to cause more harm than good. Now let's see here, Leo, what this person isn't telling you in the present energy. For the month of February, Spirit, what is this person not telling Leo? Please and thank you. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what I sense here. This person feels like they have already healed. This person is looking at the situation like they don't need. It's not them. They're not the problem. Now, is that the truth? I don't think that is by any means. I feel like this person is very off kilter. Okay. And to be honest with you, Leo, when a person's guard is up, when they have their wall up, it's for a specific reason. That's a defense mechanism that people created to try to protect themselves. But somewhere along the line, this protection mechanism is starting to hinder this person's growth. I do feel like what's being hidden here, Leo, is this person is very scattered, very conflicted with what they truly want. We have the Four of Swords in the reverse, the Five of Swords with the Devil energy. I feel like this person isn't being completely honest with themselves or with you about their own healing process. And to be honest with you, Leo, this is something that they may have to address on their own. It's definitely not something that you can force them to address. And I feel like it has to do with this behavior pattern of them maybe being impulsive or going back and forth in and out. So what's this person's true intentions here moving forward for Leo? I feel like this person is really focused on what's best for them. There's a very self-centered, selfish type of an energy. I also feel here, Leo, that there is a lot of sadness from the past between you and this person. This is probably not the first time that this person has came in and left, vice versa. The Page of Wands tells me that this person is paying attention to every little detail, every little warning sign. This person is definitely going to need to let go of this past energy before they're going to be able to move forward in a positive direction. So let's pull a few cards out here for your spiritual advice guidance moving forward, Leo. I am going to do an extended version to the reading. In the extended version, we're going to take a little bit deeper look into the hidden energy. We'll see where this is all headed, the lesson that's presented, and the outcome if the advice is followed. It's all going down in the extended version, and the links are all below. Leo... Four of Cups, Temperance, Ten of Swords. I feel like there's a need to prepare. Prepare for complications. Prepare for this final nail in the coffin. Whether this is you, and I feel like this is your energy, Leo, walking away from this situation. I don't feel like this person is going to let you walk away so easily, okay? It's almost as if they may try to do something vindictive in order to keep you around or force you force your hand to a certain position. So be mindful of that, but focus on the balance, okay? Focus on your own stability. This person is obviously causing disruptions in your life so it's okay to take a step back from a person that's causing more harm than good
you have to do what's best for you, Leo. And I feel here in the present energy, this person is very scattered and they don't really know what they want. And honestly, if that's resonating with you, this person not knowing what they want, the Sagittarius reading may be for you, may be beneficial. Okay. If you're dealing with the Sagittarius or have Sagittarius in your chart, I recommend you looking that inside of their mind reading up. Um, it was about them not really, their person not really knowing what they wanted to move forward. What you got to ask yourself, Leo, is this going to be something that you're going to be okay with? You know, this person being back and forth in and out. Or is there going to come at a point in time where enough is enough? And you have to ask yourself, how many times is that going to be? Get clear on all of these details because that's what's going to help you to set the stage to prepare for this ending if this person tries to come around, which the Ten of Swords is implying here, Leo, that this ending is right around the corner. You have a decision to make here, okay? That's what it boils down to. Stay or go. But I feel like this person isn't, isn't making the decision, honestly. They probably distance themselves when they're feeling anxious, nervous, scared about this connection, but they come back around because they probably look at the situation as they were overreacting. But you have to ask yourself, is that back and forth in and out behavior pattern something that you're wanting to deal with? You know, and I feel here, Leo, that it's ran its course. So be strategic with your next move, you know, your exit strategy. Your blessing message here, Leo, is my healing is already in process. My willingness to forgive begins my healing process. I allow the love from my own heart to wash through me, cleansing and healing every part of my body. I know I am worth healing. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, Leo, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, the links are all below. Otherwise, thank you guys again, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.